versus the Robo Squirrel. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Higgins. We can't get bites to stop chasing squirrels. <laughs> well, I guess robot dogs will be robot dogs. <laughs> I brought those nuts and bolts you wanted. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. We can never have too many nuts and bolts to hold our stuff together. <laughs> that squirrel alone. Oh! What about something that wouldn't mind being chased? I know just the thing. The Robo Squirrel 800. Perfect for bites to chase all he wants. He's a speedy little fella. Yeah, too speedy for bites. Well, thanks again for the nuts and... Whoa! Where did all the nuts and bolts go? You don't think Robo's... Looks like he's doing what squirrels do, collecting nuts. Only instead of the tree nuts that real squirrels collect. He's collecting the metal variety, the kind that hold things together. We'd better shut him down. We've got a robo-squirrel to catch. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to have to fix a lot of stuff when this is done. We just have to give him what he wants. That should do it. Robo Squirrel won't be able to resist a trail of nuts and bolts. When he gets here, he'll hit the trigger, lowering the cage, and voila! We got him! Here he comes! Hi! Gotcha! Yes! Should have seen that coming. Yep. What now? We need to stop him and get those nuts and bolts back. Well, squirrels like to hide the nuts they collect. So if we find his hiding place, we can catch him and get the nuts and bolts back. But how do we find it? I know just how. He's definitely 
here. Somewhere. Thanks, Bites. We know he's here. I can hear Robo Squirrel. I just can't see him. There he is! And he's got a ton of nuts and bolts up there. So how do we get way up there to get them? And him. What we need is something that can climb trees. Botterilla! Ooh, I like it. Botterilla, we need you. <laughs> we need you to get us up there so we can get Robo Squirrel and all the nuts and bolts he took. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't, Robo Squirrel. There's nowhere to go now. I did not see that coming. Okay, Botterilla, follow that Robo Squirrel. Get him? Hmm, where would I go if I were a hungry robo squirrel? Oh, probably to the thing with the most nuts and bolts holding it together. Yep, the bridge. Robo squirrel is already taking the bridge apart. And there's a train coming. We need to get there now. Let's bounce, Butterilla. <laughs> Unless we stop him and fix it before the train arrives. But how? Robo Squirrel can take out bolts way faster than we can put them back in. And the bridge is huge. <laughs> I know you want to help, but you don't have the right tools to fix it. What if he did have the right tools? Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Botterilla, because he can climb the bridge. Then we'll add a hard hat to keep us all safe from falling bridge parts. And last but not least, a riveting drill arm to put the bridge back together with super strong rusty rivets, rivets. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Time to go mobile.
Robo Squirrel's in trouble. Let's go, Drilla Gorilla. You saved him. I knew you would. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> There, last nut and bolt. I thought we'd never get everything put back together. I'm just glad we found a better way for Robo Squirrel to get his fill of nuts and bolts. Yes, the back of my store was starting to pile up with his old junk. Now you can recycle it, and we can keep all the extra nuts and bolts. Plus, it's a much better way to keep Bites entertained. <laughs> The tire pressure looks good. Now I'll use the mega battery to give our cars a charge. Gotta love the mega battery. It gives us the power we need to charge our cars and run the whole rivet lab. Now I just need to tighten a few more bolts. Huh? Did you see the wrench I was just using? Nope. I'll go check in the lab. <gasps> Do you see my tablet anywhere? I just had it. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it's wrong. I wonder who it belongs to. I don't know. <laughs> Strange. I guess it went home. Okay, now let's look for my wrench and your tablet. Help us look, guys. <laughs> Lots of stuff, but not my wrench. Hey, Rusty, come quick! Now the charging cables are missing. They were just plugged in. Something funny is going on. <gasps> now there's more drones, and they're taking things too. <gasps> hey, drop it! <laughs> Ruby, I think I know where my wrench and your tablet went. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Whirly. Ah! You can get our stuff back with your grappling hook. But there's only one of you and lots of them. Hmm. Oh, I've got it. We can go after them with our jetpacks and get our stuff back. And we'll get a hand from some robo arms. Let's jet. Freeze, drones! Oh, no, you don't! Our tools! We have to catch them! Whew. It's good to have you back. <laughs> the drones escaped. My plan is coming together perfectly, Frankford. Because I am... the greatest inventor in the world! <laughs> ah! Rusty and Ruby are coming. Time to hide. Hide in the backyard. Hey, Frankie. Have you seen some drones?
drones. They took a bunch of our stuff. Oh, really? Weird. Have you checked over there? No, we'll take a look. Thanks. <laughs> Fooled them. With those two gone, it's time for part two of my perfect plan. My mega drone! Soon the whole rivet lab will be mine! <laughs> I don't see the drones anywhere. Neither do I. Let's head back to the recycling yard. <laughs> hey, guys, what's wrong? <laughs> They're taking the mega battery. It powers the entire mobile rivet lab. We have to get it back, or we won't have any power to build things or charge our cars. Oh, uh! Okay, Whirly, but there's still only one of you and lots of them. Oh. Wait, there might only be one little Whirly now, but we can modify her to be a mega Whirly. And we'll make you extra good at grabbing, too. Those drones won't have a chance. But we've got to do it quick, while the lab still has a little power left. Let's combine it... And design it. We'll start by replacing Whirly's propeller with a much bigger one. That'll make her faster and stronger, too. Then we'll add robo-arms to give Whirly some drone-grabbing power. And last but not least, a seat for me to ride in so I can control the robo-arms. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. in time. The lab is out of power. Don't worry. We'll get our battery back. Go get him. I'll track the drones from the ground. <laughs> Looks like they're headed to Frankie's house. Yes! Here comes the mega battery for my mega drone. Rusty rivets can do to stop me because I'm the greatest inventor in the world! Huh? Whoa! Frankie Fritz? So you're behind this. Don't you know you shouldn't take things that aren't yours? Uh huh. Drones, stop them! Drones don't stand a chance against the Mega Drone Grabber 9000. needs all the power it can get to pick up your mobile rivet lab. <laughs> we have to stop it. Come on, Ruby. Come to Frankie. Get into over 
drive, Whirly. Look out! <laughs> this day to end. Come on, Frankfurt. Help me push the greatest invention in the world home. Back where you belong. Ready, Ruby? Mega battery is back. What should we mega charge first? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we might have given them a little too much power. <laughs> problem. I love the science fair. It's so much fun seeing all the cool things everyone's working on. Yeah! I can't wait to check them out. As soon as we're done showing them our speedy copier! <gasps> Which copies anything super fast. Thanks. I mean, it's okay. Ready for your big moment, Robomouse? Handstand! Backflip! Again! Close enough. Have some Robo Cheese. <clears throat> Who wants to see the latest from the greatest inventor in the world? Your volcano is really erupting. Science at work. What? Hmm. If I didn't get their attention with one mouse, how about two? Watch. Now we can all get back. Whoa, mouse! Get back to mouse? I think she means that mouse. And that one. And probably that one. Whoa, where did they all come from? Science fair is no place for mice. We need to get rid of them. Don't worry, Teacher Betty. We'll round them up and take them outside. Maybe they're hungry. We could attract them with something yummy and smelly. Like my cheese sandwich. Great idea, Ruby! We could use the volcano as a smell funnel. Promise to put it back when we're done. And this fan to blow it through. Yes! It's working! Uh. Huh? I don't get it. Yeah, mice love cheese. But Robo mice only like Robo cheese. And they're gone. But they could come back any time. Sorry, everyone. No more science fair until we know the mice are all gone for good. Aww. There is definitely something really strange about those mice. Yeah, but where do they come from? And where did they go? Hey, Sammy, what's up? Mice are up and down and all around. You gotta help before they... <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm not going to stick around for them to blame it on me. Even if I did kind of do it. 
Wow, Sammy, you weren't kidding. I don't kid, not about mice. Don't worry, we'll get them out. Yeah. Huh? What? Wheels? Those are definitely no ordinary mice. They're robot mice. Which is why I called you two. Can you get rid of them? Sure, but... Where do they go? Whoa! There are way more robo-mice than we thought. We have to get them out of here. But how? Cheese didn't work. We'll round them up and take them someplace they can't cause trouble. Great idea. Time to go mobile! gently nudge them into that alley with this. Won't they just run out of the far end? Nope. When I give the signal, you block the exit with this. Got it. Then, one more gentle nudge into the cage, and we got them. All right. Come on, you guys. We're going to find you a much better place to hang out. I'm coming your way. No way. Robo mice that fly? Not good. What's weird is, if we didn't make the robot mice, who did? Single or double scoop of gelato? I can never decide. My robo mice? How are there so many? Righty, Fritz. Uh, I didn't do anything. I only made a few. Uh, uh I mean, I've never seen these robot mice before in my life. <gasps> he only made a few. Why are there so many? Speedy copier. We need to shut it down before it makes more than we can catch. Imagine how many it's already made by now. Just about enough to cause total chaos in town. Oh, don't tell me. They're back. And now they're everywhere. <gasps> Rusty, help! Don't worry, Sammy. We're going to need something that's really good at catching mice. Cats love to catch mice. But a cat isn't fast enough and can't jump high enough to catch robo-mice. We need a super-fast, super-high-jumping cat. Tigerbot! Tigerbot, Tiger we need you. <laughs> All right, Tigerbot. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Tigerbot. Then we'll add a laser goggles so she can locate and track lots of mice at the same time. And finally, a cage, so Tigerbot can catch them all. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
is free at last. Way to go, Tiger Bot. normally be awesome. I love them. But the elephants are terrified. We almost got all of them. Be right there. Hi, Anna. I'm trying to calm them, but elephants really don't like mice. I'm afraid they might... Rusty will get Ellie back. I see her. Tiger Bot, full. Yeah. Two scoops of gelato was the perfect choice. Yeah. Frankie, watch out! Hey, Ellie. Looks like Rusty, Ruby, and Tiger Bot got the last of the mice. I believe these are yours, Frankie. I just wanted to make an extra one, since Robomouse is such a brilliant invention. But your machine got carried away! Tiger Bot, that was amazing! We're super glad Science Fair is back on. Now that the mice are under control... Come on, guys! I just want to teach you one little trick. Here, have some... Uh-oh. Last piece of robo-cheese. It's okay, guys. I know just what to do. No, I don't. Hey, Frankie, got anything we could test our new and improved speedy copier with? Yeah, I do. Ah! Boy, Frosty, take it! Take it! <laughs> Rusty and the Pirates of Sparkton Hills. Our latest invention is done. A recycling bin that takes itself to the curb. <laughs> oh, hi, Frankie. Did you see our invention? Rusty, get this. I just invented a remote control flying waffle maker. See? Waffles anytime, anywhere. Best invention ever. Oops. I'm on it. What's this? It belongs to... R.R. the Fourth. <gasps> that must be your great-great-grandpa, Rustin Ribbits the Fourth. He used to make inventions right here, in this yard, a long, long time ago. What's it say? What's it say? A treasure is buried. Have I got your attention? Follow this map to find my great piratey invention. <clears throat> cool. It's one of my great-great-grandpa's treasure maps. Awesome. It looks like the treasure is buried on an island. Let's use our pirate ship. <laughs> Great pirates. They're pie bits. <laughs> Frankie, Frankford, are ye coming with us? <laughs> oh, uh, no, we aren't. We're busy today. Thanks. Bye. I know we're not busy today, Frankford, but I plan to find and keep that invention all for myself. Oh, and for you, too. <laughs> huh? Frankfurt? Help! Okay, let's see. We have lots of parts so we can build anything we need. And the deck is swabbed. <laughs> Ready to set sail for adventure, pirates? <laughs> Rusty 
Frankie thinks the treasure is his. But Captain Frankie will get it first. How? I secretly took a picture of his map and Rusty didn't see me. That's how. Oops, wrong picture. Here it is. See? Full Fritz ahead! According to the map, the treasure's on that island. We'll find my great-great-grandpa's invention in no time. No, you won't, because Captain Frankie will get it first. Frankie? But I thought you were busy today. I am busy. Busy trying to take the invention all for myself. <laughs> my crew won't let that happen. <gasps> oh, but the weather looks bad. Thanks to the Frankie Fritz Fogger 5000. Where'd he go? I can't see. <laughs> oh, no. You can't see which way to go. Don't worry. I'll go get the treasure. <laughs> what are we going to do, Rusty? We can't just wait for this Frankie fog to blow away. Blow! That's it! I've got an idea. Whirly, want to be a super-powered fan and blow all that fog away? Rusty was easier than I thought. Ahoy there! <sighs> that fog cleared right up, thanks to Whirlybeard. Ah! Well, Captain Frankie has more tricks than just fog. <laughs> oh, no! That reflector is heating up the sand! So you can't walk on it. Now the treasure will be all <laughs> if we can't walk on the sand, he'll get my grandpa's treasure. <laughs> we need to get across that super hot sand and stop Frankie from taking the treasure. Oh, I have an idea. We can't walk across the sand, but maybe our ship can. Crab style. Let's add legs to our ship. <laughs> Great idea, Ruby! Time to set sail on sand! Woohoo! To treasure! It's a giant crab walking pirate ship. Awesome! Except Rusty Rivets is in it. <laughs> Don't worry, Long John Stinky. I have one more plan. <laughs> okay, ladies. According to the map, the treasure's on top of this cliff. <gasps> You're right, an X. It must be buried under there. I know a faster way to dig. Crab claws! Nice touch! <laughs> Thanks for finding the treasure for me, Captain Rusty. <laughs> We can't let him get away. We've got to catch him. But how? Our ship can't fly. Not yet. <gasps> we can use the parts we brought to make a flying pirate ship. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with our pirate ship. Then add wings to make it fly. 
jets to make it go super fast. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. The Flying Pirate Ship 3000! Let's go get that treasure, matey! Ah. <laughs> the treasure is ours, Frankford! All ours! Captain Rusty can't stop us now! Ahoy, Captain Frankie! What? Shiver me timbers! A flying pirate ship? That's awesome! Except Rusty Rivets is in it. You'll never catch us! Yo-ho, hold on, everyone! belongs with me, the greatest inventor the... Uh-oh. Hang on, everyone. Both feet down. We can't reach them in time. Oh, yes, we can. I added a little something extra to our ship. Who's got the treasure? Captain Ruby and the Pie Bits to the rescue! <laughs> okay, even I've got to admit, that was pretty cool. Now we can finally see what my great-great-grandpa invented! Whoa! Is that a parrot? What? Hello, I'm Pollybot. It's a parrot robot. What? Cool. What? Hello, Captain Rusty. He knows my name. That is a great piratey treasure. Welcome to the crew, Pollybot. <laughs> Hello, awesome robotic parrot. <laughs> I think it likes you, Frankie. Of course he does. I am the greatest inventor in the world, after all. Ha! Uh, Rusty's the greatest! Uh, what? No, I think you mean Frankie's the greatest. Nope, Rusty! Uh? <laughs> <laughs> 